Here we are guys, guess where? We're in my kitchen again. Welcome back to the Ron Williams YouTube channel. Remember this is nutrition month and I took you to the grocery store the other day and I'm gonna show you that breakfast meal I was talking about preparing. So let's go right into it. First thing I want you to know is this, that uh, you always hear that breakfast is the most important meal of the day and it is pretty important because it actually gets your day started. It's the foundational meal. And the word breakfast, where did it really come from? Where did it originate from? Breakfast. Well, that word means break fast. It means that you go a long period of time without eating because your body is sleeping and resting. And the first meal, you break your fast from going to sleep at night. It's almost like a bear that goes into hibernation. Everything slows down. And when the bear uh, gets up, starts moving around again, he is hungry, he needs to eat. So he breaks his fast by going out and getting that first meal. And that's what we do when we get up in the morning. We break our overnight fast. So we're gonna do this together. Got a few things out here. Onions, get my board out. There we go. Get a few things prepped here for us to get started. You saw me grab some, some eggs, but what you're gonna like about this is anything that you can prepare with oil, Frying, you can prepare baked, broiled, uh, boiled, or uh, you can you can grill it. So, get my distilled water ready. And the thing about this that you're really gonna like is it's not a hard thing to do. It's actually hard to burn this particular meal. But what I want to do first of all is I want to get this water boiling. And while that's boiling, I'm going to get my oatmeal ready. What I do with my oatmeal, put a little water in, my, in the bowl first. And while everything else is preparing, I'm allowing the oatmeal to actually soak. There we go. Great job, Ron. And put our meat out here. Where's my knife? Had my knife just a second ago. Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna take my knife. First, put my meat over here and I'm gonna cut my onions up just a little bit and put them in first. There we go. For a lot of people, they don't, you know, they don't eat as many onions as me and my wife, as we do. And it's good that when you're a couple that if you eat onions, that both of you eat the onions because you can't smell one another's breath. That's supposed to be the way it works, but I never tell her I can smell her breath and I'm sure she can smell mine. Uh, but because we love each other, it's okay. So uh, cut up the onions. By the way, I've got the most awesome wife on the planet. I mean, she is absolutely amazing. And uh, she cooks a lot for me. So we'll put the onions in to get this party started. Now we have our steak here. If there's any fat left on the steak, I like to cut off that little extra saturated fat. It's not necessary to have that in my food. Now, one thing about cooking, some people ask, do I, do I love to cook? Um, that's a real hard question. I, I wouldn't say that I really love to cook. I don't hate cooking, 
but uh, some of the things I learned uh, through cooking and trying new recipes and stuff like that, I really enjoy that. I think I love being creative uh, when it comes to cooking. So, we're gonna take, put a few minerals in the water, anything that I have water in, I always put the minerals in. I put plenty of water in there, I put it on high. My objective here is when I, by the time I put the eggs in there, my goal is to boil the water out. The eggs cook very quickly and easily. Um, at that point, I wanna boil the water out. But I wanna tenderize this. So I'm gonna grab my salt, and I'll show you something in a second. Here, this is mineral sea salt and it has the iodine in it. Really, really awesome brand of salt, but let me show you this. With the gourmet salt, we have some gourmet salt back here somewhere. Let's just find it right off. But it says, right on the face of it, sea salt, here it is. If you read this, it says, this salt does not supply iodine, a necessary nutrient. So salt, the iodine has been stripped out of this salt. We want natural sea salt that comes from a body of water that's filled with the, uh, the uh, minerals and it has the iodine in it. So we take this and we sprinkle it over the meat. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm gonna tenderize the meat. And as I tenderize it, the, the salt and the iodine actually goes into the meat. Then I'll take my vinegar, put it over the top. Oil vinegar, there you go. Now, Start the tenderizing process. Start it off fairly slow like this. If I don't, my wife gets upset because what happens is the vinegar that I put on the meat ends up all over the walls and she comes in and, what have you done to my kitchen? So we don't want that. Okay, we get this all tenderized. Now normally the only other thing I put on here is black pepper. There we go, that's a pretty thick piece right there. Good. Then I put a little more salt. Again, I'm forcing that in. Okay, now the water is ready. Now I'm gonna take this steak and I'm gonna cut it into small pieces. Take a look at the stove for a minute and you'll notice that the onions are cooking, and all of the, the juice that comes from the onion will absorb into the meat. And onions, it's really important with the onions, the broccoli, the garlic, foods like those, they actually help you to decrease body fat. Um, all of your sulfuric Vegetables and your cruciferous vegetables are really good at defatting the, the organism because of the dim and the sulfur that's actually in those particular foods. So here we go. Here's where the magic begins, right here. I wish you were here to smell this. I mean, it smells awesome already. I already know how this is 
gonna taste by the time we finish. And I'll try to separate every piece of meat, give it its own little space so it has the opportunity to cook fairly evenly. The onions are basically done, but we want this to start to boil too. And as this starts to boil, we're preparing the eggs. And you'll notice that the oatmeal has absorbed all of the water. So we'll put a little more water to let it. And that's actually what the fiber does in the oatmeal. The fiber causes a swelling. Okay, I'm gonna take four eggs, blend them, mix them in a bowl, and we're gonna put them in. Awesome. There we go. Okay, let me grab a spoon here. Turn the steak one more time, and then uh, we're gonna put the eggs in. Where's my black pepper? Here we go. And just gonna use this knife for the sake of not using other utensils. Get this all turned over. Now I'm going to show you amazing right here, just a second. Get ready guys. Told you amazing, here's amazing. Get ready, get ready. Boom! Watch what happens right here. So I'm not really concerned about not really concerned about that burning because I have it on extremely high and what happens is the water is bubbling and boiling so it forces the eggs to the top and it makes it really hard for the eggs to get close to the bottom and stick and the eggs begin to coagulate together and that's what we want and we're really just trying to boil this thing out so we want the eggs to go all over and Get inside of that boiling water. Good. You're probably thinking, Ron, you just walked away from it. It's going to burn, man. No, it's not going to burn. Now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take the kale, which I don't cook the kale too much. I want to make sure that I don't cook the enzymes out of the kale. Awesome, that's going to be perfect. I'm going to put the kale in there. Now we'll stir it a little bit, stir the kale in. Notice the eggs are not sticking. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? No oil. The water is cooking out. You've got to know this is an awesome meal right here. Yes, sir. Now, the only thing we have left to do now is simply just let the water cook out because everything is really done at this point. Uh, I like my eggs cooked 
um, well, well, well done. Uh, so as I'm cooking it right now, you'll notice that I'm just cooking the water out. And if you, if you were here to see this in person, I don't know if looking at it by camera, if it looks as delicious as it really is, but I'm telling you people, this is gonna be an awesome, awesome meal. The next thing I want you to see, and this is not an endorsed product. I just love this product so much, and most of you that have been on my YouTube channel, you know about this product. I don't know if I ought to come in here and get it, or that's a new one. I have to go in the refrigerator and get it. But this right here, this is the secret sauce right here. This makes everything taste good. I'm telling you, you gotta try it. It's called Frank's Red Hot. Now, if they were to see me promoting this, they ought to come and pay me for it because I promote this like crazy, but I don't get paid for it, but it is a great, great add to just about anything you eat, especially eggs. Again, I walked away and notice again, it's not sticking but it's on high. The fire is on high and I'm basically cooking the water out. And I want you guys to uh, send me a message if you think this is pretty awesome, this way of cooking your eggs. And if you even knew that you could cook eggs in water and they wouldn't stick or burn without any oil. So you guys send me a message and let me know what you think about this meal. It's really ready now. I mean, it's ready to eat. My mouth is watering and everything's ready for these eggs. But this right here is a power muscle meal. All I have left, I have my oatmeal. And instead of cooking the oatmeal on the stove, I would put it in the microwave for about two and a half to three minutes. That depends on your microwave, how efficient it is. Some people prefer not cooking in the microwave, uh, but because of my days are so hectic and so, and, you know, so, uh, so packed that I have to, to get it done and get out. Again, I'm gonna put this on a plate. I don't know about you guys, it may not be amazing to you, but every time I cook this, it is amazing to me that I can cook it the same way every single time, and it just doesn't stick. I mean, I can walk away, I can go in the other room and come back, and this is what you get. Look at this. Can you believe that? Yeah. Okay. So I need one more plate because my cameraman's gonna have to eat some of this too. Normally it would be me and my wife, but uh, I'm gonna give him the smaller portion. Okay guys, as I said, I was a little nervous putting that together for you guys because it was for you. Uh, if I was doing it for myself, I just, boom, just jumped right at it, but I wanted to do a good job for you guys. I want you to critique me, tell me what kind of job I did. Uh, if you give me an A+, plus, you give me an A, uh, whatever it is, I'll take it graciously and I'll do better next time. If I get less than an A, gotta do better because I'm an overachiever. Um, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, 
Try it. Tell me if you like it. God bless you until next time. What you, what you want? What you, what you want?